Well, hello everyone, welcome to Valencia for round 8 of season 2 of my F1 2012 career mode. I am Lost Buds, and this is my qualifying lap, and as you might be able to tell by the position uh, marker up in the top left, this is Q1. <laughs> but, um, so obviously I didn't get anywhere near my target of 17th, which is annoying as hell. <laughs> but um, it's my problem with rain again that's messing me up this time again, this time around, as it always does in the race and whenever I try to qualify, especially on this circuit as well, because it seems to be extra slippery around here, but it's also because um, it's in that very odd stage between uh, it being too dry for wet, which I tried before I did this run. <coughs> and yeah, I'm sorry, I lost track there. Yeah, it's, it's in a very odd stage in between being too dry for wet, but it seems to be a bit too wet for intermediates, which is why I'm going so extremely slow. Yet the AI always ignore this fact, <laughs> they were always faster than me. No matter what I do, I suppose I could have also um, combated that with a, s a decent setup as well. Uh, because I think this is probably. I can't remember what setup I used on this one, but um, it was probably more of a default setup than anything towards the wet end of the quick setups uh, scale. And obviously, I don't feel comfortable. Uh, of course, I don't feel too bad because the race is predicted to be dry. So, um, although my starting position is not going to be very good, uh, at least I can make up places in the race, even if it's going to be more of a damage limitation race again. So here we go, coming across the line. It's 151.5. Now, that's okay for now, obviously, but look where it ends up in 19th. Now, if you can look closely, I've got plus 10 positions. <laughs> And I haven't got a Scooby-Doo where that came from. So, yeah. I'm starting at the back of the grid. Edited it out a bit too early, so you didn't quite see who's on pole. But I believe it was probably, probably the McLarens or even Schumacher as well. Because he done quite well in qualifying. It's obviously a good start at the back because you're racing two HRTs. So, obviously you can get past. And then there's Hulkenberg there, forcing to not doing very well. Smash into the back of a Marussia. That probably should have ended my race. But... <laughs> oh, Vettel, hello! I wasn't expecting you to be back here for some, for some reason he is. It's a bit too much going on for me to... Um... <laughs> of a hey, even my engineer thinks I'm being a bit too aggressive. It's a bit too... Everything's going on a bit too quick for me to put into words what's going on here. As I go past Maldonado and Massa. Or Massa and someone else. Massa and Vern. <laughs> because if I try and speak any faster this morning, I'm going to mess up my words a lot. <laughs> so, after that, not bad start. Not bad at all. We're up halfway up the field, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna try and look around at making him pass, make a move past Petrov in a second. But um, there's only 23 cars left, so someone's already dropped out as we make the move around Petrov. Next up, Ricardo. Our target is 10th, so we should be able to meet that hopefully if we can not crash into anyone else. Kobe Ash is in 9th. Button's actually down in 8th, though, so he's not doing that well. So if I can hang on to the back of him, or even pass him, that will probably help me in the championship. I don't know where Hamilton is though, he must be a bit further up the road. As Hamilton is. Oh, who's that? Weber's gone off. Weber's gone off wide. At the pit, uh, pit, uh, uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> at the pit. Straight. And yes, Schumacher is actually leading this race. It's typical, really. I do really bad, and Schumacher ends up being right at the front. So that's not going to help my uh, teammate change, unless I catch up to him somehow. 
before he crashes out the race. This is where we are for the moment in 8th. Uh, hopefully we can get catch up to Button, but I think this is a stage of the race where they start running away from me. And my setup being towards the wet end of the scale it probably isn't going to do me any favours on the straights. But we are in 8th, which is which means we are going to get some points at least if we hang on to this one. I, yeah, as I say, it won't, definitely won't help my championship chances, but Button's down here with me, so hopefully he won't go much further up the field. So we can do a bit of damage limitation today. Driving is not exactly going to be perfect today. Um, I think I was irritated from the qualifying session. Didn't quite regain my composure as much as I should have. But I'm trying to I'm trying to go for it. Gun it down the straights and round the corners as fast as I can. And that may cause me to go a little bit wide and mess things up a little bit. But you lot should be used to that by now. I always make silly mistakes on occasions. Ooh, skimming the wall there. That could have um, had horrible consequences. And I get a bit of a corner cutting warning. Whoops. Oh, never mind. DRS now enabled, so if we can actually keep this gap to button, which is 9 tenths, which isn't great, might be able to make a move on him at some point. Having a little fight in front. Oh, a button on the inside! But I've outbraked myself quite considerably, and now Kobayashi's is Kobayashi's back as I spin and lose that ground again. Now, if I'd braked a little bit sooner, just a little bit sooner, I mean, silly mistakes like that cost me these places. Someone had a drive through penalty, I can't remember who it said, whether it's the car in front or the car, I think it's the car in front. <coughs> um, yeah, ninth, I'm mean, actually under pressure from Petrov of all people, who's <laughs> coming past in that flaming caterham. I mean, pretty much Caterham and Force India have swapped roles this season. Caterham going up to the midfield and Force India going to the bat marker's end. But yeah, a couple of, uh, couple of announcements uh, on in the F1 world. Um, there's, there's a bit of a story going on at the moment, which was posted up yesterday uh, in... Uh, uh, about the German Grand Prix it's meant to be held at Nürburgring this year uh, it could actually not go ahead this year um, and a possible switch to Hockenheim could be unlikely because there's a lot of political wrangling going on which means that um, they would block any attempts for Hockenheim to hold the Grand Prix under the German name. The only way they could do it is if they called it the Grand Prix of Europe, which Eccleston has suggested. So you may not see Nürburgring on the 2013 Canada. Well, uh, so. Petrov is close behind still. Probably going to get DRS on me. So that was an interesting one. I never noticed. Didn't notice that. Uh, I knew it had problems, Nürburgring circuit, but I didn't think it was actually going to drop off. But um, yeah, there's also still a gap where the uh, New Jersey Grand Prix was going to be yeah, in the uh, in the middle of July. That still hasn't been filled, so there could be uh, two empty slots next year or this year in the calendar, which is not good at all because. There could be only one race in eight weeks during the summer. And the summer break is long enough. The hell, the winter break is torture. The summer break is just annoying. <laughs> but still, I'm doing a lot of sliding here. I don't quite know why, though, to be honest. My tyres aren't that bad, are they? I didn't, I didn't see them. And obviously, Petrov is going to pressure me again because he's seen me having troubles. Yeah, what else? 
Uh, McLaren launched their car today. Uh, the time I'm recording this is about 8.30 in the morning, so I haven't seen it yet and no one else has. But their launch is at 10.30 today, which by the time this video goes up, most of you would have seen it anyway if you're interested. Just checking my fuel there. Um, I've got some other dates for the launches of cars as well. So, McLaren launched their car today in Woking. Uh, Ferrari launched their new car, the F138, uh, on February the 1st, which is tomorrow. And Force India also launched their car on February the 1st. Uh, I, s I guess they'll have streams over the internet for that or on news channels or something like that, I don't know. I haven't seen any information. Sauber are launching their car on Saturday, 2nd of February in Switzerland. Their launch will be online, I know that much. So you probably can see that when it when it when the actual time appears for that one. Red Bull launching on 3rd of February in Milton Keynes. And then Mercedes Toro Rosso are on February the 4th at Jerez in Spain which is uh, the day before the first test. Caterham are launching on the 5th of February, also at Jerez in Spain, on the first day of the testing. And Williams will actually be launching their car on February the 19th at Barcelona, which is the second test. Uh, the only one missing from there is Marussia, I think. Uh, I don't know anything about when they're launching theirs. But, uh, yeah, this is definitely the week for car launches if you're interested in seeing their unveiling. I have a feeling that pretty much um, almost all the cars will retain their stepped noses, to my disgust. But uh, it's all a, s a saving weight thing. You don't have to have the vanity plate, of course. And as I say, if it works for them, it works for them. All credit to them, but I still think they look ugly either way. You can see on, on, on this race nothing much has happened, but I'm just glad the track is dry. I mean, that gives me a chance at least. <clears throat> but yeah, talking of Williams, um, the first person to drive that new car will be uh, Susie Wolf. I think that's her name. But yeah, so on. Yeah, Susie Wolf, the Williams development driver, will be the first to test the new Williams. Which is pretty good. I've always said uh, uh, I've got no problem with women racing uh, in F1 at all. I really haven't. Uh, I mean, I say, as long as they're fast and if they're, as, if they're a valuable member of the team, then I'm all for it. Doesn't matter whether they're a man or a woman. Doesn't matter about your gender, as long as you're fast, I'm all for it. So, I'm actually ignoring my pit stop here. I think, I think I could, um, I thought I could drag out for another lap. What I should have done, I think, in terms of tyres, but I didn't really think of it at the time. I think I probably should have started on primes first, then I could have had a longer first stint, maybe got ahead of some people during the pits of pit stops. And then when they're on their primes, I can hopefully do a lot of catching up on my options. But obviously I didn't do that, uh, which is a shame because I probably could have made up a few more places than I have done now. But I believe I've done that before when I've started at the back or near the back in a couple of other um, career videos. Uh, it has worked quite well actually, it's not been too bad. So, um, yeah, missed opportunity there, but we'll know for next time. I still have no idea what that 10 place grid penalty was for. I must have went into the back of someone or clipped someone at some point, because I honestly don't remember what happened, which is slightly irritating. But I'm quite happy I didn't qualify dead last before the penalty, because otherwise I would not have been happy at all. So I'm going to pit in this lap. And see what I can do on the new tyres. 
And if I'm sliding around on knees as I was earlier, then it doesn't hold much hope for me. <laughs> but we can always, we can always try. We never give up. Try and get in here without slamming into the wall. Went all right. Let's see if we get any hold-ups today. Oh, 4.4. Yeah. Not great. Could be better. But it happens. Buttons passed. Vettel's made his way up to ninth. Uh, maybe he's in... I don't know if he's in the pits behind me, actually. But he has clawed his way up from 18th to 9th. You have no more pit stops, so look after and time. Petrov's got ahead of him. So, but he's around. Oh, no, 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 no. He's not ahead of him. Vettel's in 8th. He's got ahead of me. How the hell does that happen? Be aware, we think the car behind is trying to save fuel. So, oh well. So that eight of fourteen, and we're four point four seconds behind Vettel, who's up the road somewhere. I don't know if he's actually really pitted or not. Maybe I can catch up to him. Maybe not. I don't know. But he has been flying this race even better than me. Well, that's not hard to do, really, but still. Petrov is about three second, three odd seconds behind, but he's saving fuel, so he should be <laughs> he should be alright for a little while. But saving fuel hasn't helped him because Senna's actually got past him, overtook him somewhere in the last couple of corners. I thought I was going to overshoot. I thought I was going to go white there. <laughs> Schumacher's still out in front. So, he looks like he's going to run away with this one. Unfortunately. <laughs> Let's not forget I'm still battling him in the championship as I go completely off white there. Yeah, still battling him in the championship. I think he's just behind me in fourth place. But this championship is definitely going to be interesting. It's, it's approaching the midpoint of the season and no one's really got out ahead. Which is good to see. I like it when that happens. After it excuse me not talking for a little while, I got um I ain't got much actually much to say for some reason. Um I suppose I could talk about more about what's going on in F1, because there's not a lot happening on the screen here. Oh, white again. I think uh some more practice of this track is in order because I'm slightly over the place. But yeah. Yeah, just looking through here for a, a couple more F1 stories. Let's have a look at the old gossip columns. If there's any going around. Um. Hmm. Yeah, not much here. Um. Oh, Mark Webber reacting to Red Bull Chief Helmut Marco's criticism. I don't like Helmut Marco anyway, he's a twit. Um, Watch out for the car behind yeah, you. If you, you yeah, I probably will make a mistake. <laughs> but um yeah, Helmut Marco said a little while ago. Um 
that he claimed Weber cannot handle the pressure of a title campaign. And Weber said, "Yeah, Weber just basically saying he's not gonna, never been a part of Marco's agenda. Probably that agenda being um, Vettel's dominance of everything and how much he loves Vettel." Um, yeah, I'd like to see him do well against Vessel. I mean, he's, he's always been someone that's like in the background a little bit, working away. His form at times can be a bit strange, but um, you know, he's a good racer, and he used to actually come up with a proper with a proper championship challenge um, before he retires. Um, I can't quite, I can't quite um, figure out how old he is. He's about 30, isn't he, or something? 30 something? I don't know. He's been around F1 for a while. Quite a while, actually. Pretty much almost as long as Button has. So he's always been there. And then he transferred to Red Bull. Um, well, probably when it's started. I think he partnered with Coulthard. Jeez, that's a bit of um, F1 that I have um, severely, um, I've got a severe gap about in my knowledge about. Oh, Jesus. I am messing up my words. I've got a, a severe gap in my knowledge of the period between what, 2004 Five to two thousand and nine. Bits, bits between there. I have, didn't really know what went on in F1. I didn't really know who the drivers were that much. I knew the, the main people. You Obviously, you couldn't your... escape um, Alonso winning his titles and Kimi and Hamilton. Obviously, I know who won the titles, <coughs> but. Um, yeah, there's bits of it I, I really don't know about. So if I'm wrong about things, feel free to feel free to correct me. I don't mind at all. Unfortunately, here I'm getting a bit of pressure from Senna of all people in the car I drove last season, which is unfortunate. I wonder how far the development on this car will go. Because it seems to be a little bit better on the tyres. I mean, this race is a bit of an exception. I don't know what happened. Probably because of my wet setup or something or other. But um, the newspaper clippings, when I go back to the menus, um, at the start of the season, they start started coming through saying the tyre wear looks poor and they know you need to work on it. Lately it's been coming through as tyre wear has been looking okay. I mean, obviously still not great. There's a car off there. I don't know who that is. Perez. It's Perez is off. So we inherited 7th. And unfortunately Button's got past Grosjean, definitely, so we don't know where Button is now. So that's not going to help. Um, but yeah, they say a tire wear has been okay, so they're obviously doing something about it on this game. Uh, but so it seems oh, it seems seems to be getting better a little bit, but it's still up behind most of these guys in terms of performance. I mean, couple that with my driving sometimes, and I'm not going to be terribly fast in some of these tracks. But hopefully on some of the tracks that are coming up, like uh, Britain next round and Germany, a couple of circuits that I know quite well and, and I'm relatively quick at, hopefully I can do well. I'd love to take a win at my home Grand Prix, that would be absolutely epic.
So, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I'm going to catch Grosjean anytime soon. 9.5 seconds up the road. Senna is giving me all kinds of harassment here. He's within three tenths of a second, so he could very well get past here. Which he does. Here we go. Let's see if I can outbreak him going into here. Go around the outside into this corner. So I've got the inside line on this. Worked out okay. So we've got past him. We survive another lap in seventh. Go go a bit wide there, but we held on to it. So I can't for the life of me remember how many points there are for seventh. I think it must be four. Could be four. We'll find out, won't we? Of course, Schumacher sets the fastest lap, which is about two seconds quicker than me. So you can see uh, that I was never going to be in his league this weekend. Which is unfortunate, because he's going to close the gap quite considerably in the championship. Everything's going to get really tight on the board. 10 seconds, 10.6 seconds now to Grosjean. A spectacular return to form after my <laughs> pole and victory in, in uh, Canada. Things go a bit tits up again. I do promise you things do go slightly better in Britain. I mean, it's a track that I know well, so... Yeah. Feeling confident about that one. And to be honest, I'm not... I'm not sad to see Valencia go. I'm not really a fan of this track anyway. Um, it's just... Well, apart from real-life racing in 2012, nothing really happens here. <laughs> kind of a dull circuit when... Um, when things are going fine and someone's out in front because Vettel just owns this track most of the time. And as you can see, Schumacher has won the race. I think that's his second victory of the year. So I am one victory behind him. Which is slightly annoying. And there was actually a little spot of rain a couple of corners ago that I just saw on the camera. But luckily that's not going to affect us as um, we're on the last lap now. So I just need to hold on to this final corner, which can be a bit of a bitch sometimes if you get it wrong. Go streaming off wide, but held on to it just enough to get across the line in seventh. And Maldonado has got past Senna on the final corner. Uh, you must, Senna must be a bit peed off about that one. So there we are, we finished seventh, and our objective was to finish tenth or above, so we met that one okay. So, six yeah. points, nice job. Six points, that's not bad. Yeah, four points was eighth place. Um, Schumacher and Hamilton finished second. Fernando was third. Jensen made his way up to fourth, so he's got 12. Then you got Raikkonen, Grosjean, me, Maldonado, Senna, Massa. Good to see the Williams both finishing in the points as well, seeing as they started in 11th and 16th. Good showing from them. And DNFs. Kovalainen, Perez, and Hulkenberg. I think Kovalainen... I don't know, one of them went out, went out at the start of the race. Don't know how, don't know where, but they did. And so here we are, the Drivers' Championship. Lewis Hamilton is leading on 121, followed by Jensen Button, 7 points behind, 114. Schumacher moves into 3rd place, 104, and I'm on 99. And, got to be careful, Alonso is... Following me, six points adrift. Fourth place. Then got a bit of a drop to Mark Webber and the rest who are following him. So it's still interesting. It's very tight at the top. 22 points separate the top four. So, yeah, no one's running, running away with it just yet. But in terms of the constructors, it looks like McLaren are going to run away with it if we can't get any um, one twos anytime soon and there's the rest of the drivers championship for your perusal so here we are 
McLaren at the top with 235, no change there, as no change for Mercedes, Ferrari, Lotus, Red Bull, uh, probably the rest of them really, I don't think there's any change. I think HRT have dropped down to 12th again, they were in 11th at one point. But 32 points separate McLaren and Mercedes. So it's still possible, still possible to take the Constructors title this year. You never know what's going to happen in the last... Uh, next few parts of the season. But next up is my home race in Great Britain, round nine. I'll see you then.